All right. Great. We have 61 participants at the moment. Um, we'll wait at least two to three minutes more and give some time for everyone else to join. Uh, in the meantime, can everyone just send a quick message on the chat box if you would like me to continue in English or Singhala or a mix of both. So can you either say Singhala, English or mix? Can you just put a quick comment on the group? Uh, if session ka continue karana kaling. Uh, hamo ma message ka dan mama singhaling the English waling vitara dan atang mix ka king karano na the kill. Right. Okay. We're getting a lot of English. Okay. English and mix. That's great. 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 Okay. Superb. All right, we're getting a lot of English mix, mix, okay. Right, we have one Singhala. <clears throat> okay, super, super. Okay, so let me conduct it in a mix. So I'll do a bit of both English and Singhala. I'll predominantly do it in English. But if there are any questions, we'll continue in Singhala. But anyway, I'll do a mixture of both. Don't worry. Uh, while we continue the session, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. All right. You can unmute and ask or you can put it into the chat box. Preferably put it into the chat box. If I don't see it, then you can unmute yourself and ask. All right. Okay, so I think we have 88 participants at the moment. So I think we'll start. There's no point in wasting a lot of time. Okay, so just before we get started, I just want to let you know that I am Sheshan Dias. For those of you who have seen me on TikTok or Facebook, I've been conducting IELTS classes for the past year. We've trained a number of students, more than 200 students, and a lot of them have passed, right? Passed in the sense they have got the required result, all right, or the required band score that they want. So the reason that I'm conducting this free IELTS webinar is because when we usually put out an advertisement for classes, we get so many leads or we get so many inquiries of students asking what is the IELTS exam, right? Because most people don't have a clear idea of what is the test, why they need to do the test, or even the overall structure of the test. Right, Godakaya, then Api advertisements, Dammam Api classes for the Godakaya, IELTS, Vibhage, Kiani, Mukad the Kila, Haridam Abo de Karane, Mukad the Kila, Dana Bauna, Samaravit exam structure again, Luku Abo de Akne. Right, I think May Webinai K, Api cover Karan, expect Karane, IELTS Kiani Mukad, IELTS for a sections monoda, a sections yatate in a Prashna monoda. IELTS Vibhagi structure ka mukadda. Eta passe me different sections vala prashna valta. Api kuhumada harriata uttara dene. Munawada tiena tactics, munawada strategies. Api kihi payak me paya de kathulata. Pita puluan taramak. Api discuss karan. All right. Okay. All right. I think we, we still have a number of people joining in. So I think I'll wait maybe two or three minutes more uh, for everyone to join in. All right, in the meantime, let me share my screen. Hari, I think api session ne ka continue karega na yaddi ogolon te mama kiya na deyak tere ne na ta prashna mukut tiya na wana chat box seeking dan, right? Chat box seeking dan na chat box se kato ogolo dala mama dekke na ta mama ogolon ke prashne te uttar ayak do na ta ani varang ogolo unmute karela prashne ahan na kisima gata luak ne. Right, you can always unmute yourself and ask any question that you want. No problem. I'll answer your questions. All right. Now, on the group, a lot of you had commented on the fact that the reading section is what most of you are struggling with. So I'll deep dive a bit into that. But the other sections will be covered as well. So listening, reading, writing and speaking, all four sections, I hope to cover today. All right. OK, so it's 7.05. We'll get started. OK. All right. Now, we hope to cover a number of things today. We hope to cover what is the IELTS exam, the introduction to IELTS. 
I'll also give an introduction about the Success Academy later on. I don't think it's very important now at the beginning, but as we progress, I'll give you a bit of an idea as well. Uh, then we hope to cover the intricates of the listening test, the reading test, the writing test, and the speaking test, and some tips that you will need to face this exam successfully for you to have the best chance to get the best or required band score. All right. Okay. And then we'll also discuss the assessment criteria as we move forward. Now, before anything, what you need to understand is that IELTS is an exam where you can study by yourself and get the best possible result. Because just like me, there are so many students or there are so many people, right, looking to do the IELTS exam. And just like me, there are so many teachers on the internet that are uploading a ton of free content. All right. So if some of you follow any of my social media pages, you would know that I upload free content once every two days. Right. So at least three to four pieces of free content every week. At the same time, we conduct webinars like this to make people aware of what the exam is and what you need to do to pass. Just like me, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of teachers all across the world who are uploading free content. So this is an exam that you can essentially pass if you practice or if you put in a bit of effort by yourself. Now, before you join a class, I always recommend that you do your own research, right? You do your own research and you have a good idea about what needs to be covered or what sections need to be covered in a class that is conducting IELTS. So you need to have an idea of the structure. You need to have a basic understanding of what the questions are like, and you can get that whole idea if you go on the internet and just do a bit of focused searching, right? Ogolo class sekagata hari, ogolo self study karana hari khaling, ogolo hunda research ka karala idno ne IELTS kya ne mukadda IELTS for a structure ka mukadda make ina prashna mona adhikila, right? Ogolo self study ka karala idno, right? Itta koto ogolo ante nigamane ka tenna puluang, right? Mata class se ka one da, eh manang make class se ke cover karana content ka mukadda. एक अनुवाता माय ओगुलो तीरने करान नोने क्लास से के कटे जॉइन वेनो द नेट दकी, राइट? ओके, सो दिस वेबिना इज हेल्पिंग यू टू डू योर रिसर्च मैं वेबिना एक इंग्रान ने ओगुलों की रिसर्च से कटे होंडे फैसिलिटेशन ने का क्लाबला देने का, राइट? मुख्य द मित्र ना देंग पार्टिसिपेंट्स ला सी आ किन्� ओयो कोमा एक को आईएलटीएस के ना पौड़ी आवाबोधे आती है ना यह मन अत्तंग आवाबोधे आ नैतिक परिसा इतिंग ओगलों टा आधा हसा देन ना था माय मैं वेबिनार का अपी करन राइट ओगलों टा आधा हसा देन ना था माय मैं वेबिनार का करन ऑल राइट ओके सो नाउ विल मूव ऑन टू व्हाट द आईएलटीएस एग्जाम इज राइट अभी मांग क्या मती मैं तेरा मिनी स्विच ना किया ला मामा दाखिन आता है इधर पुलवा ना इफ पॉसिबल कैन यू स्विच ऑन योर कैमरास आई वुड लाइक टू सी सम ऑफ योर फेसेस बिफोर वी स्टार्ट इज इट पॉसिबल आ राइट ओके सात सारे डी नाइन आ ग्रेट ग्रेट थैंक यू राइट सुपर दुलांजी आ राइट ग्रेट 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 Fantastic. All right. Whoever is in the session, I would appreciate if everyone can switch on the cameras, but I understand. I mean, it's raining. Um, I know for some of you, it's not possible, but that's okay. But whoever is able to switch on the camera, please do. I would love to see, uh, <laughs> I would love to see a few faces and know that I'm not just talking to a blank screen. All right. I think that to me is very important. <laughs> All right, okay. Now to give you an idea of what the IELTS exam is, right? The IELTS exam or IELTS stands for the International English Language Testing System. All right. To break this down for you, this is a standardized test prepared by Cambridge examinations and offered by the British Council 
and IDP. Yes, no problem, Anukshi. <laughs> um, this is prepared by Cambridge Examinations and offered by British Council and IDP to give students across the globe a platform to learn the English language. This exam was not necessarily invented to as a test to help people go abroad. Right now, it has evolved into something that is essential when you're going to a foreign country, when you're going to countries like the uh -huh. UK, when you're going to countries like the UK, Ireland, Australia, when you're going to English speaking countries, now it has become mandatory that you do the IELTS exam, whether you're going for work purposes or whether you're going for learning purposes, for any reason, if you are migrating to an English speaking country, the importance of the IELTS exam has now become more important than ever, right? It's almost essential that you do the IELTS exam. But this is just a standardized test that you have to take in order to understand your level of English. That's all this is, right? Let me mute everybody. All right. That's all this is, right? So this is a globally recognized exam. The only uh, competitor to IELTS is the PTE exam, right? IELTS exam meke main competitor tamai PTE exam. PTE can Pearson test of English, right? PTE can Pearson test of English. Eka tamai IELTS exam meke main competitor, right? Namut IELTS exam meke tamai vadiyam recognized qualification neka. IELTS exam PTE exam compare Samahara universities recognition IELTS most recognized exam. Right? Okay. Ogulo IELTS exam Karanapuluang exams tunak tianawa. Namut me life skills ki an exam make a valid venne. Oya UK working visa ek ekat apply karanawana vitarai. Ehema karadit metanadi ek ek rules and regulations daanawa govern UK government ek ek a make a karala inna puluang the kiela ogulo hariyatam ek ko agent ke ne geng ehema natang embassy ek ek ma ahanu. Right? Ato gora make a very specific requirement ek. General and academic kiyana tests deka tamai ogulunta ogulunge godak kaata karanna wenne ekko general eka ekko academic eka general training test eka karanne ogulu work visa ekakata yanawana if you are going to work if you are going to work in a foreign country then you would have to take the general training test if you are going for academic purposes right if you are going to study you are going to do your bachelors you are going to do your masters then you would have to do the academic IELTS test. So most people, I mean, right now with the car, with the crisis that Sri Lanka is in, most people are leaving right after their O-levels or A-levels or just after they finish university. So most people go for academic purposes, right? And they end up doing, and they end up doing the academic IELTS test. Right. So even if you take globally, nearly 80 percent of the world's candidates are taking the academic test. Right. Typically, what is required by many universities, in my experience, is an academic 6.5. That is what most degree programs or even master's programs request. But this this depends from university to university. Right. It depends from country to country. For example, I get some medical students who come and do the IELTS exam. They have to get academic band eight, right? Academic band eight, academic band 7.5. So very high scores. English teachers, if they are looking to go to countries like Australia or Canada, definitely have to get academic 8.5. But if you're going for a business management degree, all right, if you're going for some sort of arts degree, right? Then generally academic 6.5 is what is expected, right? So most people go for business management, business communication, IT, 
uh, that sort of field. So technically, they typically they do academic 6.5. If you're going for work purposes, then general test is what is required. General, it starts from band four, right? Take care then. Uh, Samahara requirements band four in the lam patangana. The meda asal api agent kene ke ke tuvela uh, UK world students la ve avanava. Students la ne me yatta me gollo kene working purposes world tamai UK world ya ne egolonge required bands ko ek general band four, right? Namut me ka field ek ing field ek ata venas se nava. Dagulo doctors la engineers la neva ki IT sector ke. Eh me adi general band six, general band seven, general band eight ena kamma. Requirements the enema. I think Ogolo IELTS test a karan kali Ogolo anivaring a kogolonge university ake Emanata Ogolo vadakran neanatani Emanata Ogoliana agent king confirm karagan none mama karan none mona test a kada mama gun none mona bands ko a kada right may prashna deka anivarem than a gun mama karan none mona test a kada mama karan none Mama gun no ne, mona band score ekad. Clear that. You have to know that. Mukada gudak lamai karan nang wale karan hoi. Kyan ne, then ikulo hita na wale ma academic ke karo dekata mahari ki. Na ehi ma ne, academic karan ne, academic purposes wale ta vitara. General karan ne, ugullo work karan ne anama nang vitara. Right? Eta kote eka confirm karagena tamai, ugullo class seka kata hari, self-study hari karan ne. Right? Okay. All right. Eta kota api enava exam format tekata. Right? Exam format tekata. Then mama kiwa make a standardized English test tekak. Right? Standardized English test tekak. Api onuma language jaka kigana gaddi. Api te deval hatarak karana puluang venno. Right? Uh... Yes, Ashen, you have raised your hand. Do you have a question? Right. If you have a question, you can uh, put it into the chat box, Ashen. Oh, wait, let me allow to invite you. Yeah, Ashen, you can uh, unmute yourself. Hello. Hi, Seshan. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, Seshan, Seshan, there's a small issue with the group. Uh, there's only one, maximum 100 participants can join. Onto the Zoom link, is it? On, onto the Zoom link. There are a few people who joined later waiting on the group. I see. Uh, okay. Okay, so we'll let them know that we are putting the recording onto YouTube so they can check it out there. Is that all right? Okay, so I'll coordinate with the people or we'll, we'll, we'll have a solution for them there. Sure, sure. All right. Thank you. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So continuing on, right? When you take any language, Right, when you take any language, there are four things that you should be able to do. Right, onama basha wa gattama, singhala English, ona language ya gattama. What a karanda puluan deval hatarak tienno. Right, listening, reading, writing, speaking. Yam kisi dea ahum kandila terunganna puluang venu. Kiyavala terunganna puluang venu. Lianna puluang venu ne kata karanna. Puluang venna own. Right? You should be able to listen, read, write, and speak. Right? So the IELTS exam checks all four of these skills. May skills hatarama IELTS test taking may gullo examine karana. Right? So you should be able to listen, read, write, and speak equally well. Sama samanava wata listen, read, write, and speak karana puluang venna own. Right? If you test a test, you can listening, reading, writing. Listening, reading, writing. You can test a test. 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 You
right listening reading writing e anupili walata eka dawasaka ogolonta karanna wenawa speaking test eka wenama exam ekak widiyata yanne right speaking test eka wenama exam ekak widiyata yanne meka wenama dawasaka thamai ogolonta boho vita wateni right listening reading writing tests tuna gattama meke total time duration eka paya dekai vinadi 40 hakata enawa right me exams tunama listening reading writing tunama paya dekai vinadi 40 hakata enawa right paya dekai vinadi 40 hakata enawa speaking test eka wenama dawasaka tiyenne ඒක up to 18 minutes එනවා විනාඩි 18ක වගේ කාලයක් ඒක එනවා right speaking test එක right okay ඊට පස්සේ listening reading writing test එක කරද්දී ඔයාලට මැදදි කිසිම break එකක් හම්බෙන්නේ නැහැ ඒ කියන්නේ listening එක කරලා break එකක් දීලා reading කරලා එහෙම හම්බෙන්නේ නැහැ මේ තුනම අපි නිකන් අර level paper එකක් sit කරනවා වගේ තුනම එකට තමයි ඔයගොල්ලන්ට හම්බෙන්නේ right tunam ekata thamai ogulana hambenna speaking test eka ekko dawas hatak athulata right ekena dawas hatak kalin ehema nattan dawas hatakata passe me dawas 14 ka kale athulata thamai schedule wen eka british council eken ehema nattan idp center eken ogulanta danun denawa kavadada e exam eka tiyenne kiyala listening reading and writing test eka ogulanta book karaganna puluwang ogulanta kemathi dawasa speaking test එක ඒගොල්ලෝ කියනවා ආ මෙන්න මේ දවසේ තමයි වගේ speaking test එක තියෙන්නේ මේ දාට එන්න කියලා right මේ දාට එන්න කියලා එතකොට ඕගලන්ට ඒ දවසේ යන්න බැරි නම් ඕගලට කතා කරලා date change එකක් කරගන්න පුළුවන් right okay එතකොට දැන් මම කිව්වා general and academic කියලා parts දෙකක් තියෙනවා එතකොට මේ tests දෙකේ වෙනස මොකක්ද right මේ tests දෙකේ වෙනස මොකක්ද එහෙම ලොකු වෙනසක් නැහැ වෙනස්කම් දෙකයි තියෙන්නේ right venaskan dekai tiyenne eka venaskamak tiyenne reading test eke anith venaskama tiyenne writing test eke right eka venaskamak reading test eke anith venaskama writing test eke the listening and speaking tests are the same right listening and speaking are the same for everybody right there is no difference at all right okay i hope that is clear now we move on to the band scores right now we move on to the band scores right you are given bands from 1 to 9 right you are given bands from 1 to 9 there is no band 0 band 0 කියලා එකක් නැහැ band 0 එකක් දෙන්නේ ඔයා exam එකට ගිය නැත්තම් විතරයි right uh if we are planning to do studies and part time work what exam should we take okay uh, tanuja if you are planning to go for your studies then you will have to do the academic test so part time work is something you are doing aside from your study right or age main purpose ek studies walata yanna nan if your main purpose is to go for studies you will have to do the academic test depending on the university you are applying for whether you can work or not depends on that university's um the the criteria put forward by that university So if the university says okay you can work 20 hours a week that is up to you but if you are going for study purposes you will have to do the academic test all right clear okay okay as i was saying band scores are given from 1 to 9 right there is no band 0 band 0 is only given if you are absent right if you don't go for the test because like i said this is a standardized test to measure your level of english at the level 1 kiyanne you are not that good at all right level 1 kiyanne you have no ability to use the language except a few isolated words again oyata kiyanne wachana kihipayak arenna oyata wenama kisima deyak english walin kiya ganna ba eka thamai band 1 kiyala kiyanne right ite passe ekin eka meka develop wenawa right ekin eka meka upgrade wenawa right etakota godak aya samanyen den wena ratakata yanna eligible wenna minimum score eka minimum score eka mata hambela thiyena vidiyata band 4 right band 4 walta aduwen gattoth kohomat visa application ekak through wenne na right mona rataka mona purpose ekata yanna haduwa 
බෑන් 4 එකකට අඩුවෙන් ගත්තා කියන්නේ කියන්නේ ෆේල් වුණා වගේ තමයි රයිට් ෆේල් වුණා වගේ තමයි ඒකට බෑන් 4 එකකට අඩුවෙන් මට හම්බෙලා නැහැ ස්ටුඩන්ට්ස් එහෙම රිකවයිමන්ට් එකක් තියෙනවා නමුත් මට හම්බෙලා තියෙන අඩුම රිකවයිමන්ට් එක තමයි බෑන් 4 කියලා කියන්නේ රයිට් බෑන් 4 ස්ටුඩන්ට් කෙනෙක් සාමාන්‍යයෙන් ඉංග්‍රීස් ගැට ගහ ගන්න පුළුවන් දැට් මීන්ස් හී කැන් manage to speak english in certain situations right he can manage to speak english in certain situations but he is unable to form complex sentences use complex words complex language right that is difficult for them right but typically they are able to manage they are able to understand a few sentences they are able to speak a few words right it's a very basic level of english ban 5 is an average user right that is most of us sri lankans right we have an okay we we, we can understand the language then mama kiyana de ogolata therena right namuth samarata katha karanna yaddi ogolata patalena right english accent ekakin kavuru hari katha karaddi ogolo confuse wenawa loku loku wachana read karaddi ogolo confuse wenawa anna a level ekey nan ogollo inne ehenan ogollo menna me level ekata thamai wathen band 5 right metening then udata udata yanna tikak mahansi wenna right then band 5 ekaka indala band 5.5 anna e binduwai dashama paha udata yanna api tikak mahansi wenna etening band 6 kiyala ki उत्तर दी गुलवा right me wage situations walta apita samanya vidiyata muhuna denna puluwan nam api band 6 level eke innawa right ilangata band 7 band 7 kiyala kiyanne tikak hondata english katha karana ekkenek right then man wage kenek echchara mahansiyak gatte naththa mama kisima deyak paadan karanna athuwa kiyanne ielts kiyana kisima avabodayak naththuwa मम डेली इंग्ली कथा कर Seven in the law data yaad di seven seven point five eight eight point five nine may own ama band level leke kate yanna band score leke kate yanna apni hariyata ielts vibhage ke na islam honda abode akti hai ielts vibhage questions mona wada structures mona wada me hamade akma dena ngin each section leke gatta ma listening reading writing speaking me hama section leke akma gatta ma मेवाट हरियाणा विधि ये टा अपि कोहोमा द लास्ट ही बन में पास्ट पेपर्स आडूमतार में कक्क टा दहायक पात करला ती ना राइट अपि होंदा क्वालिटी वोकेबुलरी यूज़ करना आता इसे एक गत्ता में इसे एक हरी स्ट्रक्चर एक कक्क टा लिए ना आता रीडिंग गत्ता में रीडिंग वाचना देदास पांसियक देदास आटसियक � right 7 indala 8 yanawa kiyana eka ona kenek ta amaru e kiyanne native english speaker kenek tunath band 7 ekak 8 karaganna mahansi wen amaru ne impossible ne namuth mahansi wen eka thamai reality eka right then goda classes wala mama dakala thiyena internet ekak wenawath kiyenawa right uh, english dana ganno onna ha band 8 ekak ganna puluwa ganna ba ganna ba right අපි ඉංග්‍රීසි ඉගෙන ගන්න ඕනේ ඉස්සෙල්ලා ඉංග්‍රීසි ග්‍රැමර් ඉගෙන ගන්න ඕනේ වොකැබියුලරි ඩෙවලොප් කරගන්න 
මේ හැම දෙයක්ම කරාට පස්සේ තමයි අපිට බෑන්ඩ් 7 ලෙවල් එකට එන්න පුළුවන් 7 ඉඳලා උඩට යන්න අපි තවත් දේවල් අපි ස්ට්‍රක්චර්ස් අපි වොකැබියුලරි අපි සිනොනිම්ස් මේ හැම දෙයක්ම අපි ඩෙවලොප් කරගන්න ඕනේ රයිට් ඕකේ so do, that is what you need to know about your band scores right okay then this information i already told you so ilts is or was formed by cambridge examinations currently offered by british council and idp right the test is valid for 2 years so if you are looking to go abroad now it's 2023 if you are looking to go abroad in 2025 or before you can do the exam now if you are looking to go in 2026 don't do the exam now it will expire so no point right typically most people do it about 2 to 3 months before they apply for visa right because if you have a band 7 band 7.5 that means guaranteed your visa will come through right there won't be any problems right but like i said you all need to confirm what you need with your university your place of work or an agency right so you need to confirm that without confirming don't just do an ielts test there's no point right nikan karanna wale karanne pa salli nastiyak wenna ielts test eka kohomada ogula book karaganne very simple ogulo ekko british council ehema nattang idp website ekata gihilla right british council or idp website ekata gihilla egulongen book karaganna puluwang online ehema nattang directly british council hari idp center ekakata number eka internet ekey tiyenawa ogulanta call ekak denna puluwa right me krama deken thamai ielts test eka ogula book karaganne right okay hari then etenta wenakan prashna tiyena clear the ब्रिटिश कौनसिलुपी general test is i think a bit lower it's about 70000 rupees right uh but th those are the prices so you can check the prices on the british council or idp website but typically it's about 75000 rupees right another problem that a lot of students have is what is the uk vi test right uh everything is clear so okay great then godak uh, kayata ena prashnayak thamai me samahara kattiyata uk specifically uk yanna hadana kattiyata me gulo specific requirement ekak illanawa uk vi right uk vi test ekak one kiyala uk vi test ekak saha normal general and academic training ekak athara kisima wenasak ne etoda oa uk vi general ekak karat UK VI academic එක කරත් normal general එකයි normal academic එක අතර test එකේ ප්‍රශ්න වල කිසිම වෙනසක් නැහැ right එකම වෙනස තියෙන්නේ ඔයාලට UK embassy එකෙන් stamp එකක් වදිනවා ඔයාගේ IELTS seal එකේ certificate එකේ right එතකොට ඔයා UK යන්න eligible clear එතකොට මේ UK VI කියන test එක ඔයගොල්ලන්ට වැදගත් වෙන්නේ UK වලට යනවා නම් විතරයි right etukota etenadi exam eke wenasak naha etukota baya wenna epa dan kawuru hari ogulana kiyuwoth wa wa uk vi academic test eka karanna ona kiyala it's the same test ogula wenama classes yanna ona naha same structure same questions same test clear only difference is on they are they have to get the seal but when you are booking the test you have to book correct test eka book karaddi wa uk vi na uk vi eka book karanna ona normal eka na normal eka book karanna right namuth exam structure eke kisima wenasak enne na right okay right listening test listening test eka gattama ogolonta all right okay uh, so madushani says for idp 
uh, academic test is 65,000 rupees, right? 65,000 rupees, right? Not 75, 65,000 rupees. All right. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, who is this? Madhushani. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. All right. So when we take the listening test, right? Up a listening test, like a gattama, make a pair bag, a recording, a kak, ogolonta ahana den. Right. Pair bag, a listening test, a kak, ogolonta ahana den. Right. Me pair bag, a kaparai play kran. Right, me recording eka pair baage only one time. Ogulonte depara tumpara ahanna bear. Right, depara tumpara ahanna bear. Eka parai make a play karan. Is that clear? Only one time. Right, eta kota ogollo me recording eka ta ahum kam dena gamang tamai prashna verta uttara lianna oni. Clear the. Recording a gata ahum kan dena gamang tamai prashna verta uttara lianna own. May recording eka, may vinadi tihe, pair bage recording eka, kotas hatarakata kaden. Section one, section two, section three, section four. Right? Four sections verta, may listening test eka kaden. Right? Okay. Uh, may, sec may section may pair bag recording eka kotas hatarakata kadenawa section 1, section 2, section 3, section 4. Right? Anne evidiata kotas hatarakata kaden. Right? May make a play karane eka par. Right? Section 1 neka gatta. Right? Then ogula matakatiya gano na deakta mai. May listening test eka general and academic dekatama podui. General world eka academic world eka kname. May decatama make a podu, right? Eating test a key, right? May go look combination nekatamai di latin. They have given a combination, right? To suit both gender and academic test takers. So, section one is a general topic, right? Section one is a general topic, right? Typically, something like two people talking about renting a house. Trying to book a plane ticket, right? Trying to book a train ticket, trying to make a hotel reservation. Api day to day current activities, things that we do on a day to day basis. All right. So, section one is always a general topic and it's always two people. Hama vela vema dennek katakaran. Right? There's always two people who are having a conversation, never one person in section one. Right? I think I'm section one nekata ahum kandeddi olvetiya gannone. There is always going to be two people. Is that clear? Always going to be two people. Then we come to section two. Right? Section two is always going to be one person. Section two is always going to be one person. Again, this is going to be a general topic a non-academic topic or a general topic, right? Again, something like benefits of exercise. They might describe a map, talk about the outline of a museum, an outline of a library, right? They might talk about something that is not academic, right? Something day-to-day, -day, something general, maybe about food, exercise, maybe something to do with uh, books, studies, something like that, right? But nothing academic. Then we come to section three, right? Section three has up to four speakers. Up to four speakers means they can have two, three, or four. Then nekinna puluwa, thunde nekinna puluwa, hatra the nekinna puluwa. Apni to sure ne, apni dhan ne, right? Ek test ka anuva venasena. Section three kiya na kote sir. Sometimes there are two, sometimes there are three, sometimes there are four. This is an academic topic. This will be two people discussing their assignment, right? This might be three people having a panel discussion, right? This can be four people discussing some scientific topic, right? So it's always going to be an academic topic 
and there is always going to be more than one person less than four people right so two three or four right okay then we come to section four section four is the most difficult of all four right and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll explain why in a bit. But now what you need to know is there's only one speaker, right? Section four, there is only one speaker and it's an academic topic, right? So it's an academic lecture, right? Section four is an academic lecture, right? That is what section four is all about, right? Now, again, what you need to understand is that each section has 10 questions, right? Hammer section ne kema prashna the hayak theme. Ito the total prashna kiya the hatali hai, right? Ito the sections hatarai prashna the hai ekakatanang total prashna hatali hak theme, right? Total prashna hatali hak theme. Then me section one ne ke prashna the hai. The hai atama. Eka recording eka eka velave play venne ne. Issa lama ego lo prashna paha kata recording eka play karan. Ita passe oata tappara tihak de nama ituru prashna paha kiya vagan. Ita passe tamai ituru kaila play venne. Ita ning tamai section one ivera venne. Right? Then make a matakati agana paha paha hama velave ma beden netne. Samara velata tunak issa la ita passe ituru hata. Hatara kissa la ita passe haya. Paha, paha, higher, hatter. Maybe the other, a cake of patterns, alter, within the Puluang Namut, hammer vela vema, decatur, cadena. Right? There will, okay, sure, Sharon. I'll explain in English as well. Don't worry. So, section one, right, it has 10 questions and it's going to be divided into two. The recording will be given in two sections, right? So, they will play. Questions one to five, they'll play the first recording. Then they will say, okay, take 30 seconds to go through questions six to 10, and then they'll play the rest of the recording. All right. It's the same with section two. They'll play the recording for the first three or four questions. Then they'll give you some time to look at the remaining questions. Then they'll play the rest of the recording. Same with section three. They'll play it in two parts, right? So then make a decata cadenava, make a decata cadenava, make a decata cadenava. But here they will not break it into two. Section four, all 10 questions, directly one recording, no breaks. Okay, no breaks. That is why this is more difficult because you have to concentrate for 10 questions at a stretch. There are no breaks at all. Clear? There are no breaks at all. All right. Okay. Now, you might be wondering, at the beginning I said the exam is two hours and 40 minutes. Right? The writing test and reading test are one hour each. That's two hours. The, speak, the listening test is 30 minutes. So that's two hours and 30 minutes. So where does that extra 10 minutes come? The extra 10 minutes actually comes here for the listening test. And this is only, this is only for the people who are doing the writing test or the paper-based test, right? This is not applicable for people who are doing the online or computer-based test, right? If you are doing the paper, the physical paper, then you will get two sheets, the question paper and an answer sheet. Right? So your answer sheet looks like this. Right? Let me show you. Your answer sheet looks something like this. Right? Okay, you will get an answer sheet like this, right? And then you will have a question paper separately. 
once you mark down your answers on the question paper, you will get an extra 10 minutes to write your answers here. Right? You will get an extra 10 minutes to write your answers here. That is how 40 minutes are made. Is that clear? So recording is only 30 minutes. That doesn't change. Recording is only 30 minutes. Whether you are doing the physical test or whether you are doing the computer-based test, recording is only 30 minutes. If you are doing the computer-based test, you just have to click the answers on the screen. Right? You just have to click the answers on the screen. So they won't give you extra time to mark your answers here. Right? But if you're doing the written test, then they will, once the exam time is over, they will give you an additional 10 minutes to write all your answers here. Is that clear? Right. Great. Okay. We have a... Okay, it's clear. Great. Then we come to the different types of questions, right? You will get multiple choice questions, right? Multiple choice means MCQ, right? You will get about three or four different answers. You have to choose the correct answer. Then you will get short answer questions. Short answer questions means they will ask you a question. You have to write a one word or two word answer, right? Sentence completion. Sentence completion means they will give you a fill in the blanks type question. They will give you a sentence. There'll be a blank. You have to complete it or fill it, right? Then you have completion of a diagram, notes or table or labeling of a diagram. All of this is the same. They will give you a chart. They will give you a table. They will give you a note. You have to see, listen and fill in those blanks, right? Then you will have a classification type question. Classification means they will give you three options. You have six questions. You have to match the correct option to the question. So because you have less number of answers and more questions, you can use the same answer twice. Does that make sense? You can use the same answer twice. Then A, B, C, kill answers to nakti. Questions hayakti. I thought that A, B, C, kill them, mama, tava questions to not I thought about I, A, B, C, ma use krana pulu. So A, B, C, tuna, I, I repeat when I get my classification type questions, kill again. Matching means typically you have more answers than questions. So about six answers, four questions, right? So only one answer for each correct question, right? Okay. Is the question order is informed in the recording is the uh, what prince what does that mean i don't understand what do you mean is the question order confirmed in the recording you can unmute yourself and ask prince prince are you there hello right that's okay okay um, so I think what you're trying to ask is, is the question order, uh, do they do they tell you the question order in the recording? Uh, they don't specifically mention anything like that. They have given you the question paper. They play the recording. You have to write the answers to the questions, right? So let me show you an example of a test paper for listening, right? Okay. Right. So is it okay if you write the answers in capital letters? Okay, Madhushani, let me answer that question shortly. Right? I'll answer that question. Okay. So if you look at this listening test, you will see that the recording is now in this paper, it's here, but of course you won't have a recording like that, but you will get the question paper, right? You will get the question paper. Now, if you're doing the online test, you will have to type your answers, but of course, if you're doing the written test, you will have to write your answers on the answer sheet, right? Keep in mind that answers are always in order. That means, 
the answer for question one will be told first in the recording. The answer for question two will be told second. The answer for question three will be told third. So always you can rest assured that the answers are going to be in an odd. Is that clear? The answers are going to be in an odd. Do you understand? Question number one uttare tamai recording eke mulim mogulon tahen. Eat a pass tamai question number two. Eat a pass tamai question number three, four, five, six. Do you understand? Right? Answers in a pili Answers always come in order. When you're writing answers, liad diunat, type krad diunat, mena maker, ulvet yagan known. Issa lama, ogolo, egolo, dila tiena, instructions kiavan. One word and or a number. Make enava two words and or a number, three words and or a number. Tuna dakwa, megulo instructions then napulu. The metanadi egulo kila tiene one word and or a number. Ehema tibbot. Then api dana, nikapi daharna kwashing hitamu metan to utare dog kila. Right? Dog. Then dog kiane ekavachanak. Right? Etakota me utare hari. Right? Etakota me utare hari. Api dana one dog kil. Then me one kianeka api. Akuru aling type karlatin. Akuru aling lilatin. Ita kota make a vachanak with yet a tamai count when. Ita kota metana vachana dekaktiena. Ita kota make a varadi. Clear the apita one dog kill a dan no na, mena me with yet a tamai, apidan. Aye metana tiene one word and or a number. Ilak kamakui, vachanekui tamai, apita liana pulua. Clear the Ilak kamakui, vachanekui. Right? Eko eka vachanak vitarak, Ehmanatang eka ilak kamak vitarak, Ehmanatang vachanekui, ilak kamakui. Eka clear the. Right? Okay. Eat a pass say Samaharad in a prashnak and a puluam. Capitalization metana kuhuma the harieta dan neki and eka. Right? Simple or capital. Sir, can you please share the recording? Okay, sir, could you please give some tips to find the correct answer? Okay, hold on. Right. Capitalization, gana prashna tiena puluang. Then daharna kwashe, api namak kliena wana. Itano kapi sheshan kila liya. Right. Sheshan kila liadi, hama vilavama, s capital. A namak. Right. Api s simple liwood. Me utere hariunat, egolo, lakunu denne ne. A metana capitalization varadi. Clear the then api I venatanak velo api kalambo kila lian. Right? Kalambo velo gulo C simple lian. Eta gulo me uttare varadi. Mega hari uttare unat e gulo lakunu denne ne hai. A me C eka simple. Eta gulo ogolonta karana puluang lacima de tamai. Me capital simple gana gudak vadaven natua karana puluang lacima de tamai. Okoma. Capital Valing Lienk. Right? Okuma Capital Valing Lienk. Then Sheshana. When I may with you. Right? Everything in capital. Is that clear? That's the best way to go about writing this. Right? Okay. Can we write rough answers while the recording is on? Yes. You have to write the rough answer on your question paper. So if you get the. Uh, if you're doing the written test. You need to write down your answers on the question paper and later transfer it to your answer sheet. Because if you don't write down the answers, you won't remember anything. This is a half an hour long recording. You definitely will not remember most of this. Right? Most of this will be entirely wrong if you don't write down any rough answers. So you need to write down your answers as you are listening to the recording. Right? You need to write down your answers as you are listening to the recording. And yes, uh, Ishani, if your spellings are wrong, you will be given zero marks, right? So now, for example, say you have to write Colombo, right? Now, if you write Colombo without M, right? Say Colobo, it's wrong, entirely wrong, right? Let's take something even more simple than that. Imagine that they say something like um, Jimmy. 
right? Now, Jimmy can be written like this. Sorry. Jimmy can be written like this or it can be written like this. If it's a name, they will always spell it out for you. They will say J-I-M-M-Y in the recording, right? So if they say J-I-M-M-Y and you write J-I-M-I, -I, that is wrong. Although the correct answer is Jimmy, because your spellings are wrong, the answer will be wrong, right? Yes, like I told you, Isuru, they accept block letters. Everything you can write in capital. Tanuja, how can you note down rough answers in the computer-based test? You can't. Your answer is not a rough answer. It's the actual answer. If you are doing the computer-based test, there is no roughing your answers. Directly the correct answer you have to write. Okay? So only the written, the written paper-based people or the test takers can do this rough answer thing. The others, they can't. They have to directly write the correct answer or type the correct answer in their allotted space, right? Now, we spoke about one word and or a number. Now, if they say two words and or a number, right? It's like this. You say big black or big, we can say big dog, right? Two words. So if you're going to say two big dogs, this is also correct. Why? One number, two words. That's correct. Right? Three words and or a number. Then one word. Three words and or a number. Two big black dogs. Right? Right? Make a watch and a hatarak with the account when it got a three words and or a number kin instance a kedi make a value. Right? Hammer will have me ilakkang ilakkang with the atelier. Okay? Right. Ilagata listening test a ke apita apita ganda pulwang hundama tip peketama. Right? Api recording a katahum kan de di apita ganda pulwang hundama tip peka. Keywords will at a hunkan the neck. Right? Keywords kyan ne apita anivarem inna pulwan kila hitana vachana. Right? Anivarem inna pulwan kila hitana vachana. Then make a gato to him. Transport survey kyan words deka anivarem avidiatama recording a ke tiano. Right? Mukha the transport survey. Ekatamai make it topic kek. It would eka anivarem a tina. Then you would at eka heddi. Tere no ne a right. Then ilanga ten ne ane minna me de. Right. Metana di Sadie Jones. Kiyana ka anivareng e vidhiya tama tiya nama. Aye eka namak. Namak kata samana pade nahe. Dulanji kiyana kata samana pade ak nahe. Dulanji na dulanji matama. Right. Sheshana sheshan matama. Nam gam aurudu. Me tu na tiya nama na. Me wa tapi kiyana nama. Unchangeable keywords kiyana. Vena swinne nati vachan. Right? Nam gum aurudu. Vena swinne nati vachan. Right? Eva api balan non is selama balan non. Eva tia no the kick. Right? Elangata headings vena swinne ne. The mevage main headings transport survey, traveling by bus, traveling by car, traveling by bicycle, becoming a volunteer. Right? Uh, helpful things volunteers might offer. May they evolve when us when it headings don't change, right? Headings don't change. Ito ko tapi e mahala po di idea ka ganna wa a me pilival at a tamay recording ka yan ne kiyan. Ito na me pilival at a tamay mahang in no ne me pilival at a tamay uttara in kiyan ka api dana gen in no ne, right? Ilang ata. Api words were the synonyms then again a hit yot eka tawad benefit tekak. Right? Synonyms tien na puluang vachana world api kiena wa changeable keywords kiena. Vinaswen na puluang keywords. Right? Then uda harna kwashe in gatot. Shopping. Shopping kiena ka gatot. Make a kiana puluang vinaswidia. Right? Reason for trip, shopping and visit to somewhere else. They make a kiana puluang. They went to buy clothes. Right, they went to buy clothes. Kian ne shopping world te shopping kian ne de kian aplon tau vidyak. Right, ita vod apiye ka dana gini nno. 
එතකොට අපිට තේරෙන්න ආ රයි වෙන් ටු බයි ක්ලෝඩ්ස් කියන්නේ ආයි කියන අපි ඉන්න මේ හරි එතකොට මෙන්න මෙතෙන් ට උත්තරේ දැන් ළඟ ළඟම එනවා clear the that is the most easiest way to get the answer in the listening test right changeable identifying changeable and unchangeable keywords and knowing that answers are always going to come in an order right answers are always going to come in an order right okay all right then we go into so anyway i will be sending you all that practice paper link right so let me just show that to you also i will be sending you all this link right on the group uh, you all will get access to the cambridge ielts mock papers so there are 18 books right in each of these books there are four papers each me hama potakama papers hatara gana tiyena etoda 18 ak kiyanne 18 warak hatara wage ganan echchara honda na haba egulo hadala bana papers 50 akata wada tiyena right <laughs> right papers 50 akata wada ogulanda practice karanna tiyena right so i will send you this link on the group right i will send you this link on the group you all can look and you all can practice so listening test you have to practice because you need to get used to the accent right mokada meka karanne voice karanne ekko british ekkenek ehema naththam australian ekkenek godakma e accents ekka thamai enne right british or australian etukota e accent ekata ogollo kana huru karaganna one right ඒ කන හුරු කරගන්න ලේසිම විදිය තමයි පුළුවන් තරම් ලිස්නින් ටෙස්ට් රෙකෝඩින්ග්ස් වලට ඇහුම් කන් දෙන එක. ඊට අමතරව ඕගොල්ලන්ට පොඩ්කාස්ට්ස් වලට ඇහුම් කන් දෙන්න පුළුවන්. ඕගොල්ල දන්නවද පොඩ්කාස්ට්ස් කියන්නේ මොනවද කියලා? right podcasts. right i'll put it into the chat box listen to podcasts. right me pod uh, sorry 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 my spellings were wrong pod podcasts right me podcasts kiyana eva ogolonta kenne yanena gaman bus eke ka eke yanena gaman ahanna puluwa right mama ekata udaharanayak pennan nan etakata ma hitanne mataka tiyei mama nikan kiyenawata wadiya right ogola google ekata giyoth right ogola nikan gahanna youtube podcast kiyala right youtube podcast kela gahanna right ilangata oya ta link ekak kenawa youtube podcasts kela etenta yanna right e mokade uh you just right podcasting on youtube no no not try that you just go on to youtube right and you just type podcasts right podcast right okay and now you get a lot of podcasts right then podcasts kiyanne minissu kihipa denek ekko dennek tun denek hatara denek discussion ekak karana eka right online discussion ekak karana eka then meka gattot dennek karana discussion eka right j shetty podcast etakota me actor यूट्यूब right oya nikan wedagata nathi dramas ara ma mewa balana welawe me wage podcast ekakata ahum kan den right me wage podcast ekakata ahum kan denna etakota ogulonge listening skills ogulanta godak develop karaganna puluwa ilangata tawa ekak thamai ted talks kiyala kiyan right ted talks right right ted talks kiyala kiyanne मैं टेड किया ना आयतने विषय प्रसिद्ध पुत्गले ओ गेनाल्ला 
ප්‍රසිද්ධ ඇකඩමික් පුද්ගලයෝ ගෙනල්ලා කතා පවත්වන මේ වගේ ඒවා ස්පෙෂලි එන්න පුළුවන් ලිස්නින් ටෙස්ට් එකේ පාට් 4 ක්වෙස්චන් එකට රයිට් එතකොට මේකේ ඩයරෙක්ට්ලි විනාඩි 13ක විනාඩි 15ක ඇකඩමික් ලෙක්චර්ස් තියෙන්නේ එක් කෙනෙක් කරන මේවා තෝගලෝ ඇහුවොත් අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම ඔගොල්ලෝගේ ලිස්නින් පාට් 4 එකට ලොකු එෆෙක්ට් එකක් දාන්න ඕනේ නැහැ මොකද ඔගොල්ලෝ මේවා අහල 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 කන හුරු වෙලා තියෙනවා රයිට් සෝ ටෙඩ් ටොක්ස් ඇන්ඩ් පොඩ්කාස්ට්ස් try and search for those two and try to listen when you all are free right okay then we go on to the reading test okay now i hope everything in the listening test was clear so uh, during our classes of course we elaborate on each type of question we do practice tests we discuss practice tests so we don't have time for all of that in 2 hours so i'm just covering the basics right i'm covering the introduction and few tips that you need to do the exam well and do your own research and do the exam well right so i hope everything is clear before i move on to reading any other questions does anyone have any other questions so podcast and ted talks right ted talks these are the two things you have to listen to any other questions anyone okay we have a question sir can you tell what's your channel name okay i will put my channel name um <laughs> i will put my channel name on the group so you can follow me um on the group so i'll put that later any suggestions for podcasts yes uh the joe rogan podcast is a great podcast to listen to right jo rogan podcast j shetty podcast is a great one um then i e l t s by sam and ash is a good podcast right um if i do come across any other good recommendations i'll put it on to the group but these three i highly recommend right good conversations superb things to listen to right good things to listen to all right okay j shetty yes j shetty j a y yes that's correct j shetty right okay then we come to the reading test right we come to the reading test so the reading test is directly after the listening test right so first the listening test then the reading test right the reading test is 60 minutes one hour pair right reading test එක pair එක කාලයක් තමයි ඔයගොල්ලන්ට කරන්න වෙන්නේ right මෙතනදී ප්‍රශ්න 40ක් තියෙනවා 40 questions right sections tunai etakota prashna evenly distribute wenne eda arthana prashna sections 4ak tibba nisa 10 10 10 distribute una metana sections tunai etakota samane prashna 13 13 ite passe ithuru tika thamai section 3 ekata enne right samarata 14ak enna puluwa first ekata eka question paper eka anuwa dependent right namuth hama welawema sections tunai right sections tunai academic test එක ගත්තම academic test එක ගත්තම මේ sections 3ම තියෙන්නේ එක paragraph එක ගන්න. ඒ කියන්නේ section 1 එකට එක paragraph එකයි, section 2 එකට එක paragraph එකයි, section 3 එකට එක paragraph එකයි. but general test it's different. general test they have up to 5 or 6 paragraphs. right? either 5 rarely they give 6 also. right? that means per section you might get one or two paragraphs right you might get one or two paragraphs for those of you who are doing the academic test right if you want to get used to academic reading then you need to read channels like bbc right bbc news you all need to go and browse the scientific journal you all need to go and browse national geographic 
you all need to go and browse, right? Everything that comes for the academic reading test is study-based, right? It can be scientific, it can be historic, it can be news. It's always something to do with academia, right? Knowledge. Is that clear? General test, it's different. General test, it can be something like a flyer, a notice, right? Some general information about fitness, right? Something like that. Something that you would, that anybody can read and understand. Academic is not like that. Sometimes even we don't understand some of the words that they have given, right? It's very complicated. But even though it's complicated, it's not difficult. You all don't need to understand every word to get marks, right? You all don't need to understand every word to get marks. There's a simple technique that you can follow, which we will discuss. But for academic tests, like I said, it's all related to knowledge, all re related to academia. General test is day-to-day -day reading topics, right? Day-to-day -day reading topics. Question types are the same as listening. The only difference is this. Yes, no, not given. True, false, not given. Right? Api yes, no, true, false type questions. Meet a calling karlatiyan. O level, A level papers. Yes, no, true, false questions karlatiyan. Not given ki anne entirely different there. Right? Ito kod api then reading section ne ke uttaraya khoyaddi. Api mulimma balan no ne prashneta uttare tiyana vada nad. Right? Ekatama is salam balan. Natang not given. Natang not given. Tianavana Api Bayanoni. Yes the no the key. Yes the no the. Right? So yes, no, not given. True, false, not given. Make a good akana mistake. What I've noticed in classes is a big mistake that students make is that when they ask you to say yes, no, or not given, some students write true for yes. Right? Instead of writing yes, they write true. That is wrong. Right? If you write true instead of yes, that is wrong. If you write false instead of no, that is wrong. Right? Also, now when we were doing O levels or A levels, instead of true, false, not give or uh, true or false, we can write TF. Right? Abhi true when what a T liana. Instead of false, we'll write F. That is also wrong. You have to write true. You have to write false or not given. If you write it abbreviated, if you write it in the short form, it's completely wrong. Is that clear? All right. Now I'll show you an example of an academic reading test. Right? I'll show you an example of an academic reading test. All right. This is what an academic reading test looks like. Okay. As you can see, the paragraph is quite long, up to 800 words. Right, up to 800 words they will give. Ah, the first question is a true, false, or not given. Right, true, false, or not given type question. So, let me show you an easy way in which you can find the answers here. Right, all right. So, let me compare screens. All right, so I hope you can see both my screens, right? I'm doing a dual sharing thing here. All right. Now you will see, spend about 20 minutes on questions one to 13, reading passage one, right? <coughs> right, reading passage one, okay. What you have to understand is, Answers are given in order. Just like the listening test, answers are given in order. Right? This is true for all types of questions except, except 
matching type questions. We are to matching type question neka kaavut answers the ne pilivalata neme. Right? Matching type question, matching information, matching headings. Onam a matching type question neka pilivalata neme uttarati ne. Any other type of question, MCQ, true false, yes no, uh, what short answer, any other type of questions, answers are always in order. Right? Answers are always in order. Ek yanne? 1 to 7 with rakne me, 1 to 13, a prashna daha tunama tiene paragraph feke pilivalata. Mama penna na, hondo dahar na. Right? On the ban. Let me first take a ball. Chronobiology is the study of how living things have evolved over time. Right. Api questions and paragraph ek gattam. Api to techniques tunak tiya nava. Api follow karan no na answers hoya na. Make it api kiya nava. Skimming, scanning, focused reading. Skimming, scanning, focused reading. Skimming kiya la kiya ne. Api question paper ek gatta gama. Uding palle. Uding palle, api paragraph ek kiya van no na. Right. A kiya van gama, api to important kiya la hita na vacha na. Api tattak gala highlight karage na yana. Right. Api tattak gala underline karage na yana. Right. Online test ek waa karage na yana. Nang nikang uluwe mataka tiya gaan no. Aray. Be first ek e me me vacha na important ewa tibba. Then api me paragraph ek gatta ma me chrono biology kiya na vacha na definitely unchangeable keyword de kak. Right. Definitely make an unchangeable keyword de kak. Api mukad da karan ne. Make niyang underline karage na. Highlight karage na. इट पासे में इतना ताव माटे पेन ने हमें लोगों आचने आते हैं ना कि लापी इनाइट टेट आना, राइट? में इतने ताव हम मरीन लाइफ की है ना कि आपने निका इम्पोर्टेंट आगे पेन हो मरीन लाइफ की है ना मुहूर्त सातु, राइट? में नॉक्टरनल एनिमल्स में वागे इम्पोर्टेंट कि लापी ने हितना आपी ओक्को में किया वान मरीन लाइफ फॉर एग्जांपल इज इन्फ्लुएंस Right, मुख्य तो वाचन है देदास पांसिया का भी किया वानों। We have to read up to two thousand five hundred words, right? We have to read up to two thousand five hundred words. We don't have time, right? We don't have time. So what we do is whatever words that we see as important, we quickly quickly highlight. Okay, crepsicula will quickly highlight, right? Then when we come here, okay, chronobiology is here again. Ah, okay, circadian rhythm, right? Circadian rhythm, that seems like an important word. Anything else? Chronotype, okay, that also seems important. Then, if you want to know what you want to know, you can highlight it. Then, you can see it important. Right? Then, you can see it as therapeutic developments. Right? Therapeutic developments. Chronobiological demands. Right? Right? Then humans plant right? No more than two minutes. Api two minutes walta vadiya gattot, api da velava madhi vena. I think skimming waladhi api karan ne, simply paragraph eka go through karala, important words tika tattagala highlight karan eka vitara. Right? Okay. Deng api ena va, first question ne kata. Question ne ke, api identify karan no ne, changeable keywords mo no adha, unchangeable keywords mo no adha. Right? Right? Chronobiology kiya na vacha ne definitely unchangeable. Vinaswe ne ne. Namak ne. Mukha kari scientific term me kak. Right? Mukha kari scientific term me kak. Scientific terms vinaswe ne ne. Mukha da native speak a gane kudat me scientific terms te re ne ne. I think eka da synonym me kak dunno te aata tho a gane be. Samaru te examine ta te rung gane. Eka ni sa scientific terms will never change. Scientific terms will be there exactly as it is. Unless it is described in the paragraph. Right? But most often than not, the scientific terms will remain exactly as it is. No changes. Right? So this is an unchangeable keyword. 
unchangeable. There is no change, no synonyms, no similar words, right? Chronobiology is the study of how living things have evolved over time, right? Kalantara tisse megolo evolve velati in kohomad, right? Make a changeable, right? Developed over time, right? Grown over time grown over a period of time this can change living things right another keyword right another keyword living things changeable or unchangeable this can be changeable again they can say animals humans they're all living things can change so first we have to locate this first we have to locate this okay we remember we highlighted it here chronobiology okay can we find living things? Uh, is it here? No, there's nothing to say living things. Ah, yes, there is. Life on this planet. Right? Life on this planet. Living things. Life. Evolved over time. Evolved over time. Kale se evolve una. Grown over time. On a time kia naka tiyanawa. Ah, metine short term rhythms. Short term rhythms. Over time. Over time can a loku kaleak puravata. Metana kyane keti kaleak puravata. Right? Then api e api kare scanning kyana kotasa. Api keywords identify karala. Keywords api scan karana. Keywords tienatan api huyagat that a passe api. Focused reading karana. Right? Api focused reading eka karana. Focused reading kela kiyanne. Me tiyana de api hariyata kiyavala idea eka ganna. Chronobiology might sound a little futuristic like something from a science fiction novel. But it's actually a field of study that concerns one of the oldest processes life on this planet has ever known. Short term rhythms of time and their effect on flora and fauna. Now it says short-term rhythms of time. Here it says how living things have evolved over time. The answer is wrong. Therefore, it's false. Right? Therefore, we put false. Is that clear? It's the same thing. Now, then what we have to understand is now we found the first answer here. Right? In this section. The answer for the second question is going to be below that. Ekyane api make eye kiya one known in Make api amatak karan. Right? Devani answer kaniwar and tiene. Make kota set up allehai. Is that clear? Make kota set up allehai. Right? Then udaharna question hitane. Wagi me then hatveni prashneta. Right? Hatveni prashneta uttare. Menna metana tamai wa hoagati. Koihari. Api hitamu menna metana indala. Right? Me tiken tamai wa hatteni prashnet uttare hoa gatte. Itta kota ataveni prashnet uttare minna metana indala tamai wa hoan. Is that clear? Minna metana indala palle hat. Metaning udanang first answer kata tip ekene hatteni prashnet a metaning metane harian nanti be eat a passe tamai wa ataveni ekata hoan. Eki anne me kisima dea kaiwa kiawan known in a hair. Ataveni prashnet uttare hoyan. Annehemai wage kale wadukaraga. Right? A lot of people had a question how do I reduce my time for the reading test? How do I find the answer quickly? This is how you answer quickly. A lot of people waste a lot of time going back and reading again and again and again and again. Right? You don't have to do that. Answers are always in order. So if you can skim, scan, and focus read, and you find the answer in a certain place, right? The next answer is always going to be below that. Is that clear? This is true for every type of question except... Accept this type of question. Classify, matching, right? Classification or matching. Here, 
write the correct letter A to F on your answer sheet. Right? They have given different numbers. They have numbered the paragraphs. Right? So now they are saying a use for helium which makes an activity safer. You all have to read all the paragraphs and find the correct answer. So the easiest way to find the answer there is through skimming. Right? So in the skimming process itself, if you can highlight the keywords, then you can find the answers for this. Right? Okay. So for the reading test, do we need to show the reading skill to the examiner? Uh, well, you're showing your reading skill by finding the correct answers. You don't have to physically read. You don't have to read aloud. Right? You have to read and find the answers for the questions. So 40 questions. Three paragraphs, you all need to find the answers. Clear? All right. Now, when you take the general test, it's the same thing. Right? But unlike the academic test where you had um, only one paragraph per section, here you have now sec uh, paragraph one. This is paragraph one. And you have eight questions from that. And then you have paragraph two. This is still a part of section one. Right, this is still a part of section one. Right, then so question number nine to 14 is from that. Right, then you have section two. Right, you have a matching headings type question and you have the paragraph. Right, you have the paragraph. Right, so paragraph one and you have paragraph two. So from paragraph two, you have questions 22, 23, and 24 to 28. Right, uh, section number three. Here you have only one paragraph. Right here you have only one paragraph. Okay, so altogether how many paragraphs? Five. Right, two in section one, two in section two, one in section three. Clear. All right. So again, in our ten-day program, we discuss each of these questions separately. Right, we go through each section question by question. Right, we talk about all right. We talk about effective skimming methods. We talk about how to do speed reading, right? All of these things we discuss in our 10-day program, right? But most importantly, we do a lot of paper discussions, right? During the 10-day program, we do a lot of paper discussions. So at least getting one or two paper discussions done will be really helpful to you. Because it will give you an idea of how you should do it by yourself. Right? So now, although I'm telling you, you have to go and practice. So out of the 80 odd people that are here, only very few will actually do this by themselves. Right? At least we'll take, if you take as a percentage, maybe 10 people might do it by themselves. Rest of the 70 will not even look at a paper for the next week. And by that time, anything that I would have told you, you will have forgotten. Right. So, but during the class, if you join the 10 day classes, we get you to discuss a paper in the class itself. Plus, we get you to do a lot of papers at home. Right. So, that would be really beneficial to you. All right. So, that is it about the reading test. Now we move on to writing. Right. Okay. Any questions about uh, reading? Sir, is there extra time to transfer our answers to the answer sheet as listening? No, Madhushani. Uh, for reading, there is no extra time. Right? Whether you are doing the physical exam or whether you are doing the online, the computer-based exam, there is no extra time. Only 60 minutes. Only one hour. Clear? Only one hour. Right? Okay. Any sort of revisions done after the 10 class, right? Any sort of revisions. Tanuja, after the 10 classes, no revisions will be done because, of course, uh, we are charging for only 10 classes. But you all will get an additional speaking practice. Definitely before you all sit for the exam, you all will get additional speaking practices. But listening, reading, and writing, once you all get a hang of it and once we have discussed a couple of papers in the class, no extra revisions will be given, right? But that being said, 
um, if you all have missed a class, or if you all have missed a paper practice, we of course let you all join the next batch for free and listen to or practice with us uh, for the listening and reading tests. Right? Great, Ushandi. Great. All right. Good that you have got an idea. I'm happy. Right? All right. Um, now we come to the writing test. Right? The writing test is again different, general, academic, two different, right? The two are different. The main difference, however, uh, Isuru, the 10 day classes are online. It's through Zoom, just like this, right? It's, uh, it's online. Uh, the main difference is in part one. Now, just to give you an idea, the writing test has two parts only. Someone had asked in the group, uh, what do you do about writing part three and four? So I think that was a mistake. Uh, writing only has two parts, part one and part two. Right? Writing only has two parts, part one and part two. Part two is the same for academic and general. Part two is the same for academic and general. It's an essay. Right? You have to write an essay. Right. So both it's the same general or academic task two. You have to write an essay. Task one. For academic test takers, you have to write a report. Right. You have to write a report. There are six different types of charts or diagrams that you might get. You have a line chart, a bar chart, a table, a pie chart, a process and a map. Line chart, bar graph, pie chart, table, process, map. Out of these six things, you have to look at it and write a report. Right? You have to look at that and write a report. This is not that difficult because you only have to write what you see in that chart. What a pain are they with Right? What a pain are Vadipura Hitala, Mamukad Liana make among creative Kran of the Ema Mukutne, Pena de Liwana Hundatame. Right? That is for task one. Right? That is for task one. The total time for task one is 20 minutes. Itavada Kalea Gatut, what a good a Kamaru in our task two will to Uttara then. Right? Task one nekata, we are gunno uparima kale vinadi visai. 20 minutes. 20 minutes for task one, that's it. Right? What is the reason? First thing is, task one is not that difficult. Task one is actually quite easy. Right? And also, the word count is less. You get only 150 words. You have to write only a minimum of 150 words. Then 150 words Q water, 150 words ma vitara clear la Minimum recommendation by us, by teachers, is 175 words to 200 words. Ekasiya hat the pahak ho desiyak. Right? Ekasiya hat the pahak ho desiyak. Desiya na vada liyana puluanda. Oh, what a maximum word limit. There is no maximum word limit. You can write 300, 400, 500 words. No problem. But, but keep in mind, if you go to write 250, 300, 350 words, you will run out of time. Right? You will run out of time. Uh, because it takes a lot of time to write 300 words. Right? You It's difficult to do it in 20 minutes. So best, your best bet is 175 to 200 words, right? 175 to 200 words. Uh, Ushandi is asking, can you say how many types should we study for task one? I mean, discussion type. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, okay, so for task one, Ushandi, um, you don't get advantages, disadvantages, or agree or disagree. That is actually for task two, when you write the essay. For task one, it's like I said, only six things you can get. Line graph, bar chart, pie chart, table, map, and process. Right? These six things. Best thing is you go prepared for all six. 
right you can't target nobody can target if anyone is telling you ah this will come this will come they are lying no one knows right because i i have contact with the british council we we converse right to make sure that we send the students and all of that they don't give out information right this is a stand globally standardized test this is not some random test they do where they leak the papers and all of that nonsense right so if someone is telling you that oh this is a target question and they're giving it to you they're probably lying right best is you understand the structure right so in our classes we teach what is the structure you need to write any answer right that if you can memorize then you're good to write any answer any any of these six types if you can memorize the proper structure you can easily write task one is simple right task one is simple you just need to know the vocabulary and the structure vocabulary also you can find i mean we teach this in our classes but of course you don't need to join my classes to find out the vocabulary you can search on the internet just search what is the vocabulary related to um, writing a report on graphs what is the vocabulary related to line graphs what is the vocabulary related to maps all of this is freely available on the internet right so if you are someone who can self study by all means it's all there right it's all there so you don't have to necessarily um, join our classes or anything like that but that being said we do discuss all of these in our classes right okay then you come to task 2 right you come to task 2 task 2 there are again five different types of questions you can get advantages and disadvantages agree and disagree discuss type questions problem and solution type questions right and argumentative questions right whatever what kind of an interface do we get to attempt right in a computer based exam will this be ms word or their own interface if it's their own interface then can uh yes this is their own interface and no you can't see how many words you have written at a time right so just to make it fair by uh, the written and the online the computerized they don't give a word count right they don't give a word count um but it is their own interface so how it looks is on this side you have the question on the other side you have the space to type your answer that is how you get it right uh spelling errors marks will be deducted right so if i were to discuss the marking criteria for writing there are four parts which they check first one is called task response right task response means are you able to write a structurally correct answer and are you able to identify the requirement of the question and answer accordingly wa prashne ta da uttare denne task response right so if you write anything out of uh, out of the question if you write things that are not related to the question marks will be deducted next one is lexical resources lexical resources means good vocabulary are you using synonyms are you using chart vocabulary are you using graph vocabulary are you using map related vocabulary so each of these different things have their own vocabulary you need to be able to use them effectively grammatical range and accuracy so is your grammar correct right are you using complex sentences final one is called cohesion and coherence cohesion and coherence means your answer needs to have a proper structure all your points need to be interconnected and you need to use cohesive devices right so cohesive devices are linking words again we'll discuss all of this and i have a vocabulary bank right a google drive link that we share if you join the classes but again all of these available on the internet so i'll give you a few sites i saw that someone had asked for a few sites so in case you all are self study uh, ielts liz is a great site a very uh, respectable site right where they give correct information ielts jackie is another one obviously the british council website and the idp website is very beneficial right so these are the main 
websites where you can find correct information, right? These are the main websites where you can find correct information. There are many other sites. I mean, if you just search on the internet, there are many, many other sites that you can find. Some of them are true. Some of them are not true. But these four definitely guaranteed they give only true information, right? So these are the best four sites that you can check, right? All right. Then when it comes to general training one, task one, you have to write a letter, right? So here it's a report, here it's a letter, right? So there are two types of letters, formal and informal. And then there is one other category where very rarely it comes, it's called a semi-formal letter writing, right? So formal, semi-formal and informal. These are the three different types of letters that you might have to write. Again, it's very simple. They give you the information. You just have to elaborate on it. Nothing major, right? If you know the letter writing format, it's very simple. It's very easy. Essay is similar to both. So like I said, there are five different types of essays. And I and there are subcategories, right, of those five different types. But we won't be diving into that here. But whatever the type of essay, you need to have an opinion, right? Some videos on the internet and some teachers will tell you, oh, there are different types of essays where some you need to have an opinion, some you don't need to have an opinion. That's nonsense. Every, diff every type of essay, you need to have an opinion, you need to have an argument, you need to defend that argument. So we give out a very specific essay writing structure. This structure is foolproof, right? What I mean by that is, no examiner can cut marks for your structure if you know the correct structure to write the exam, all right, to write the essay, right? It's a complete structure where you cover the importance of examples, opinions, elaboration, and everything, right? Tanuja has asked, in letter writing, 150 words include all the words coming in the letter structure, only the body of the letter. No, all the words, all the words, starting from dear whoever to the end where you say uh, thank you or whatever right, where you end your letter. So all of that is inclusive of 150 words. Keep in mind though, it's not just 150. You need to write at least 175 to 200 in order to get the best possible mark, right? Writing 150 is just to pass, right? Just to get a maybe a band five, band 5.5, right? But in order to go for a band six, band 6.57, you definitely need to write about 175 words. Don't think, however, that more words means more marks, right? Quality words up to 175 to 200 words means more marks. 300 words without any quality words means zero marks. Not zero, but, you know, not a good amount of marks, right? So a person who writes 175 words with good synonyms, good cohesive words and everything can get a band eight. Whereas a person who writes 350 words with no synonyms, repetitive language will get a lesser band score. No marks are deducted for extra words. No, no marks are deducted for extra words. There is no maximum word count. You can write as much as you want. But keep in mind only 20 minutes for this, 40 minutes for this. Why 250 words? Our recommendation, 275 to 300 words. Clear? 275 to 300 words. If you're looking to get a good band score, right? 275 to 300 words. Clear? So once this is done, again, I'll send you a few sample answers of letter writing, academic writing, and essays. So you all can just go through that and get an idea of how to write. Example for task two. Okay, let me give you an example. Let me show it to you since I'm anyway going to um, share it. Uh, So if you take the writing test, right. Can you see my screen? Uh, no, you can't. Okay, hold on. Right. 
Okay, this would be a sample topic for part two. Some people that there should be fixed punishments for each type of crime. Others, however, argue that the circumstances of an individual crime and the motivation for committing it should always be taken into account when deciding on the punishment. Discuss both these views and give your opinion, right? Some people believe that capital punishment should never be used. Others, however, argue that it should be allowed for the most serious of crimes. Discuss both these views and give your opinions. So if you go to a different theme altogether, okay, help. Some people say that the best way to improve public health is by increasing the number of sports facilities. Others, however, say that this would have little effect on public health and that other measures are required. Discuss both these views and give your opinion. So you understand this is not some easy O-level, A-level type essay. It's a serious opinion, argument-based essay. But it's very easy once you understand the structure, right? There is a very specific structure that you need to write your answers in, right? So we don't have enough time to discuss it now, right? And anyway, I wasn't planning on discussing that here. But, you know, we, we discuss these in detail in our classes, right? But again, this information is also available freely on the internet. Right. So entirely up to you. I mean, if you're someone who prefers to self-study, trust me, it's all available on the Internet. It's all available on the Internet. So many of the people I know personally have passed just by self-study. Right. You should only join a class, any class, whether it's my class or any other class. If you're really struggling, if you can't just figure out no matter how much you search, no matter how much you try to look for things by yourself, if you can't figure it out, join a class. Right. Or maybe if you're lazy, you're lazy to do papers, you know, you're lazy to find the right structures, you're lazy to do a bit of digging, a class is a great option, right? Because everything will be given out. We give out everything, everything you need to know, including all the information, everything, video tutorials, everything. Everything is given out for free, right? During For free in the sense, of course, once you pay for the classes, we give additional information for free, <laughs> right? But... Everything that you need is compiled into one place. That's the benefit of joining a class. But if you're interested, you can do it by yourself. It's, it's all available. It's all freely available, right? Okay, final one is the speaking test. Speaking test, like I said, is done on a different day, right? Usually 14 days between your main ILTS, the listening, reading, and writing. After doing that seven days or before doing that seven days, that center that you book the exam through will let you know what the date is, right? There are three sections in the speaking test. Section one, section two, and section three. Section one is a self-introduction. The examiner will ask you a number of questions about yourself. For example, where are you from? What type of music do you listen to? What do you think about pet animals? Have you ever been to a concert? These type of questions about yourself, they will ask, right? Uh, what's this question? When I applied same day, I have booked speaking tests. Yes, that may be possible. That may be possible, but very rarely, right? Very rarely people get the exam on the same day. But even if that happens, it's usually... Main exam in the morning, next exam a couple of hours later, right? But typically for 99% of the people, it's on a different day, right? 99% of the people, it's on a different day. Very rarely would you get it on the same day, right? But it's possible, all right? Rusla got it. All right. Okay, then... During this introduction session, the reason that they have this part, the reason that they have this self-introduction part is because even the native speakers understand speaking English is not easy. Even if you're a native speaker, if I tell you deliver speech now in Sinhala, I'm pretty sure half of you will be afraid. Api kochara Sinhala and kata karat. Apita singhaling speech check up then na kiwo tapi bye. Neither. 
right? We get scared. Same thing in English, right? Even if they are living in America, US, UK, Canada, wherever, if you tell them, okay, give, deliver a speech now, they'll get scared. That is why they have this part. Because anybody can talk about themselves. Anyone can talk about themselves, right? So to warm you up, this is like a warm up to get you to talk. So this part, it's available or it's given to you so that you get a bit of a warm up before coming to the main part of the test. That is task two. All right. Task two is a mini presentation. Mini presentation in the sense it's a short talk or a speech. They will give you a topic. Right. And you have to speak on that topic for at least two minutes, at least two minutes, three to four minutes. Why? They will give you a minute to prepare. Last event, they'll give you the topic and say, OK, you have one minute. Go through it, read it and prepare. They'll give you a paper and a pencil or a pen. You can write what you want and get ready. Right. points last event na pulu right then you have to talk about that topic right so typically a topic would look something like this right a topic would look something like this so let me show it to you mm. Right. This would be a part two topic. Describe a holiday you enjoyed. You should say when and where you went, who you went with, what did you do on the holiday and explain why you enjoy this holiday. So as you can see, not only will they give you the topic, they will give you the points also to talk about it. So it's not very difficult. Right. It's not very difficult. Is there is the answer in the speaking exam should be descriptive or short answers. I'll get to that. Tanuja. Hold on. Right. I'll get to that. So as you can see, they give you the points you need to speak about as well. So it's not very difficult for you to think, right? Not very difficult for you to think. Part three are questions from this topic. From this topic, they will ask you questions. Keep in mind though, they don't ask you questions from what you spoke about. Then saying you say, Describe a holiday you enjoyed. You say, I went on a holiday to New Orleans. They are not going to ask you questions about New Orleans. They don't care about New Orleans. Right? They are going to ask you about holidays. That's the theme. Entertainment, leisure, holidays. That's the theme. So look at the questions. Why do people go on holiday? What are the most popular types of holiday today? Most Im How important is it for families to go on holiday together? Right. This sort of questions related to the theme are what they are going to ask. So I will send this on the group as well. Right. This includes 30 speaking topics, 30 speaking practice cards that you all can practice. So this includes part one questions. So it's divided on the themes. Right. Animals, clothing and fashion, all of that. Right. Uh, it's divided on the theme. So here are part one questions that you can get under this theme. Here are part two questions. Here's a part three questions. Right. Now another question and Tanuja already asked this. Yes, Tiksha, I'll share this PDF. Right. Um, Tanuja already asked this, which is how long should your answers be? For any part one question, where are you from? What is your favorite color? Do you have a pet? Any question. Any question, at least three sentences. All right. For part one. Part one, at least three sentences. Right. Adumatarame vakya tunak. Vakya tunata aduveneka echera hondane. Adunata himalu kode lakunu kapanit nehe namut. Wa pinna none, wata ona prashnekata hondata uttara denna pulwanki. Then Udaharna kwashi. Right? I come to an exam with Satsar. Right? Um, and Satsarani asks me, okay, Sheshan, where do you live? And I say, okay, I live in Moratur. Right? But Dulanji comes for that same exam and Dulanji tells Satsarani, I come from Moratur. 
It's a it's a city located in Sri Lanka and it's quite popular for its singers and woodwork. Right? Who will get more marks? Tulanji will get more marks. Why? Whereas I said I come from Mora to her, she gave a more descriptive answer. Right? Keep in mind though, for part one, you don't have to describe a lot. Make it an ikang essay ka kwagi uttara den no net ne. Vaki tunak hatarak vadima pahak hundatamati. I come from Moratua, which is a city located in Sri Lanka. It's a beautiful city and it's located near the ocean. Right? Three to four maximum. Right? Part two. Part two, at least two minutes, guys. Right? Some people will say, Vinadia kata kati, Vinadia kahamara kati. No, two minutes. Two minutes. How do you practice for this? Every day, if you're practicing for the IELTS test, every single day, hammer them part two question neka karagena video eka khada. A question neka gana khata karana video kara. Video kara mo aata pena wa wa karana mistakes mo naada. Wa hiravena tam mo naada. Wa ke body language ekko madhen gudakka mehem baaye vela khata kar. Right? Ito bode examinat baaye. Mehem be hina vela last center bohuma prasanna vidhiya ta khata karana. Right? One of the main things is you need to be confident. You need to be fluent. Fluent when you come to a song. Right? Godakkai, single in kata karat, English well in kata karat. Even if you speak in English or Sinhala, they say, uh, mama, other, uh, uh, Kolumbata, Yanama, right? Uh, 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 Ganama, Vachana Pramana value, right? Ehema Kata Kroth, they reduce the marks, right? So if you're speaking in English, you need to be able to speak without using fillers. We call these fillers, uh, 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 I guess, you know, right? Those kind of words or sounds are called fillers, right? Yes, Tanuja, you have to greet the examiner before the speaking exam starts, right? Now, obviously, the examiner will ask you, now, when you go for the speaking test, you have to take your passport and go. They will ask for your passport, right? When you're going for the speaking, not just the speaking, when you're going for the IELTS test, you have to take your passport and go. So when you go for the speaking test, the examiner will say, good afternoon, what is your name? So some people will say, uh, my name is Shashan. That's it. Some other people will say, Hi, good afternoon. My name is Shashan. How are you? Right? Then the examiner knows, Ah, okay. I'm going to have a good exam today. I'm going to have fun asking questions. Right? Bye, Velavage. My name is Shashan Kiwot. The examiner is also, Ah, great. Another band four, band five person. Right? That's how, you know, you have to think from examiner point of view as well. Examiners are examining 50, 60 people in a day, right? So I do examining for PT young learners, right? We do examining for PT young learners. We do 50, 60, 70 people in a day. So we are stressed by the end of it. Right? It's boring, right? So when someone interesting comes, we are very happy. We know, ah, okay, this is going to be a great test. When someone boring comes, it's like, oh, not another one. You get what I mean? So the more confident you are, the more creative you are, the better chance you have of getting a big mark. Right? Okay, so at least two minutes here. And then for part three, uh, minimum four to five sentences. Minimum. You can go up to about 11, 12, 13 sentences. Right? Maximum. Uh, keep in mind, if you speak too much, if you speak too much, the examiner will stop you because the examiner has a time limit of 18 minutes. Examiner can't speak or examiner can't conduct the interview for more than 18 minutes. So if you speak more than what is required, that's enough. Thank you. Right? Bye, when Nepa, make a lakunu adukaran. Right? Right? 
uh, in section three is all the asked questions should be included. Um, Tanuja, in, in, in section three, they will ask you the questions one by one. So the examiner will ask you, what is the purpose of having zoos? Then you need to answer that one. Then the examiner will say, what is your opinion about animals being kept in zoos? Then you need to answer that one. So examiner will ask one by one. Only in section two, you can look at the question and answer. Clear. So there, yes, whatever points they have given, you should cover it. Right. In section two only. Section one and section three, examiner will ask you the questions you need to answer. That's it. Clear. All right. Okay. Finally, we are at the end of this presentation. Right. We come to grammar and vocabulary. Right. Look, grammar and vocabulary is not something we cover in our classes. In order to get your grammar and vocabulary right, you need to go to a spoken English class first. And I'm not doing some cross-marketing. I don't do spoken English classes. <laughs> you all can go to any spoken English teacher who does it well. But you need to know English when it comes to doing the IELTS exam. Anyone that tells you, any teacher, anyone on the internet, if they tell you, Ingrisi Dhanatu IELTS pass when a puluang, that's a lie. Right? English Dhanatu IELTS pass when a bear. Sharon has asked a question Do we need to answer in a friendly manner? Yes, of course. Friendly, official, I mean, there is no difference. What do you mean by an official man? Right? Do you not smile with the examiner? Do you frown at the examiner? No. Official, friendly, it's all the same thing. Even if you're at an interview, you smile and answer the questions. You answer casually. Right? The more rigid you become, it shows that you're nervous. Right? You should never come off as nervous. Always be friendly. Smile at the examiner. I am not even joking. If you go and check, if I'm not mistaken, the IDP website, top 10 tips for the speaking test, they say smile at the examiner. Right. The IDP website will tell you that. Right. Because if you think about it, the examiner is also under a lot of pressure. Right. Now, when I go for PTE, uh, conducting PTE tests, um, if we make a mistake, our interlocutor number, our examiner number is cancelled or we are suspended. Right. That whole exam is recorded. Right. The speaking exam is recorded. We have to send it to the UK. The UK only marks and gives the band score, right? Or the mark, the number, right? If they realize we have made a mistake, that happened the first time that I went on uh, PTE Young Learners to do the to conduct their speaking test. Not me, but one of the other examiners. They made a mistake, right? He got suspended for four months. They put him under review. They gave him special training and all of that. He had to pay a fine. It's crazy, right? So examiners are also under a lot of stress. So when you go in there, you also look stressed. Examiner gets scared, right? And the chances of him deducting your marks are more. So be pleasant, smile, talk nicely. Just be a human being, right? Just be a normal human being. Don't overstress. Got it? Grammar and vocabulary is essential. If you make mistakes with your grammar, you're definitely going to lose marks. Keep in mind though, for speaking, you can get away with grammar errors because if you're fluent, they tend to give you marks. I mean, I've had a lot of students who struggle with grammar, but because they speak fluently, they're not afraid to talk, they end up getting 6.57. Can't get more than that without grammar, but basic 6.5, you can get, right? Writing, no chance. If your grammar is all wrong, they will cut more. You can't get more than a 5.5, right? So your grammar needs to be at least, at least 85 to 90% correct. Mistakes here and there, that's fine. You can get to a 6.5, 7.5 with incorrect grammar here and there. Small mistakes, 10%, right? But anything more, it's tough, right? 
Vocabulary is the other thing. You need to know synonyms. You need to know similar words. You need to have a lot of vocabulary if you want to get good marks for the IELTS exam. Because if you think about the listening test, if you think about the reading test, they all have complex vocabulary, right? So I have gone through the internet. I've done a lot of research and I have compiled a list of information, a list of vocabulary that you will need for the IELTS exam. So we provide this in our classes again, right? So now that we are done with our presentation, let me tell you a bit about the Success Academy and the 10-day IELTS program that we offer. So in this 10-day IELTS program, right, we cover all four sections, listening, reading, writing, speaking. We discuss papers, right? So we discuss a listening paper, we discuss a reading paper, right? And we get you to do these papers at home and constantly practice, right? Sharon, to answer your question, yes, if you do get stuck while you're speaking, you can continue. Right, you can stop and you can start again, but typically, depending on the time, if your time is too much, they will take the next question, they will ask the next question. But if you just get stuck and you say, Okay, can I start again? then they will give you a chance. All right, okay, coming back, we discuss papers, and at the same time, we give you access to all the IELTS information that you will need extra material to read papers to practice, vocabulary that you need to study, cohesive devices that you need to know. Basically, I've categorized everything into a Google Drive, listening, reading, writing, speaking, grammar, and vocabulary. And all of that you will get once you join our classes. Furthermore, we have a video course on sale, right? If you're purchasing only the video course and you, so with the video course, you still get all that extra information that is only 6,000 rupees, right? The extra information plus the video course, the video tutorials. So it's a recorded video tutorials like this. That will be 6,000 rupees only. Classes, however, including the video course and the extra information, if you pay upfront, it can it's only 22,000. Everything, 10 days, video course, extra information, only 22,000. If you're paying in installments, then it's 25,000. 15,000 first down payment, and then 10,000 rupees after the first four classes. Right? That is how it's conducted. Everything is conducted online. Classes are held every Tuesday and Friday from seven to nine. So we finished the 10 days in one month and one week, right? So two classes per week, every Tuesday, every Friday from seven to 9 p.m., right? So within five weeks, we finish all 10 classes, but we give you feedback on your writing. So any writing test that you write, you can send it to us, whether it's part one, part two. I personally give you a detailed feedback on that. Right. We also have a couple of other teachers who will give you feedback. Speaking again, we make you, we force you to make videos. Right. I expect my students to send a video at least one or two videos every week. Right. That way they constantly practice. And when they start, most of them are going, uh, 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 uh. But by the end of the 10 days, most of them have managed to get over that and they're able to speak even with incorrect grammar they can still speak without getting stuck that shows their fluency all right so that is very important so all of that you get in the 10 day classes tanuja can you join just one or two classes um, if you're joining for specific classes then you can pay per class and join but we don't encourage that um, but you can join the first class and see uh, whether you would like to continue or whatnot. Uh, but one or two classes, I mean, I don't encourage it, to be honest, right? But if you are joining, that's 2,500 per class, right? 2,500 per class. But again, it's not something that I encourage, right? If you're joining at least, um, not at least, join for the entire 10 classes, right? Uh, so once this is done, I will share the mock paper link uh, the mock papers practice link to you, all 18 papers. 
I will share sample answers for um, writing, right? And I will share the speaking topics, 30 speaking topics. So all of that information I'll share on the group. You can access that, right? Um, and Ashen, who I think has contacted you all, uh, that is the person that you all need to contact to join our classes. So if you need to join our 10-day classes, call Ashin, right? Join Ashin. Sample for reading. Tanuja, uh, that is in the mock papers. You can get sample for reading through the mock papers, right? All right. Okay, so if you all have any positive or negative feedback, I would like to know that. So I'd appreciate if you could drop a message on the group, right, on the WhatsApp group, so I can read it at leisure. And the next webinar that we do, we hope to do a monthly webinar for free, right, for free. We'll see, right, how it goes. Um, either now, now a big problem that I had today was I think that we couldn't fit more than 100 people. So I think there were... Uh, 200 odd people, which was a problem. So I think from next month, I'll conduct probably a Facebook or a YouTube live. I honestly didn't expect this much. I thought about 50, 60 people will join. Um, so next time, maybe we'll do a YouTube live where everyone can join 200, 300 people, not a problem, right? Um, so that was a practical problem that I faced, right? Gihan, yes, again, to join the group, contact Ashen, right? Contact Ashen, he will add you to the group, right? Uh, any positive or negative feedback, I would love to know so that the next webinar that we do, we can implement the negatives and work harder on the positives, right? So whatever information that you all need, right? Uh, you all let me know on the group. If you thought that this was beneficial to you, please let me know that on the group as well so that we know that this is useful for the people who who joined right if you all need to contact ashen i'm assuming that most of you have his number if you don't i'll put his number onto the chat box here north seven six four six seven six nine seven zero north seven six four six seven six nine seven zero this is his number right you can contact ashen through that all right, with that, we are done, guys. Hope you learned something from today's session, right? And hopefully, I will see you at the classes. If not, I will see you next time, next month, <laughs> when we conduct the YouTube live. All right, see you, everyone. Good night. Let me know the feedback. Have a great week. And I wish you all the best for your IELTS exam. All right, see you guys. Bye-bye.